Well, this has been a uh, missing piece of the jigsaw of the most fundamental way of describing the universe for 50 years. So we've had this great theory to describe all the interactions of particles, but it couldn't describe mass. So 50 years ago, someone, someone came up with that. That's the Higgs mechanism, and we've been looking for it ever since. And only now, with the LHC, are we able to really find that question, really tick that box off and say, this is the way the universe works, or at least we think it does. Now, if the particle exists, then it could answer one of the most basic questions still unanswered by science. That's why does anything have mass in the first place? The idea is that particles accrue mass because they're travelling through this thing called a Higgs field, which is prevalent throughout the whole universe. Think of it as trying to walk through a swimming pool. You've got a drag on you that slows you down. Welcome to you indeed. Thank I you. mean, very nice for chaps like you and all the rest of it, but for the general public, Higgs boson, why should we care? Well, I, I, if you're looking for how is this going to change your world now, the answer is it's not going to do anything right now. But what I like to think about is if you cast your mind back to, say, the 1930s, the 1940s, when the, the advances were being made in this field, quantum physics, which has now led to the advents of your iPads, your iPhones, all the technology that you now thrive upon, bases on that. So abstract science can have huge effects, but you can never know when you're actually doing it, what the implications will be. And, and as far as I could tell, Charlotte, very interesting, but what did any of that mean? What does that mean? There's Amanda Taylor, space physicist. Uh, he's Martin Archer. What's all this about seconds, minutes, hours? What, 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 what does all this mean? What's going to happen to our clocks if this go, goes ahead? Well, so the way we do it at the moment is, is very ad hoc. Every six months they have to work out, do we need to add an extra second? It's just to make sure that, that our idea of, of what the time is it, is in sync with the sun. That's, that's how we've done it for right. a very long time. So we would break the connection with the sun yeah. and we would ally to what? Well, to the atomic clock. That's the best way that we have of measuring time. In fact, it's how we define time now. So uh, if you take an atomic clock, it's got a load of cesium atoms in there and um, they measure a very specific transition between energy levels. It measures the light that comes out of it. So you see all these wiggles and once it measures nine and a bit billion of those, it says, well, that's a second.